Here we go with a test of our vintage Bassett Loke 2P locomotive using traditional three rail track power. Many visitors to this channel will by now be familiar with the route of the railway in videos similar to this. I hope a narration and editing like this to show the locomotive hauling different trains will add some extra interest. Until recently we have been converting our electric locomotives to be battery powered using our own design of Wi-Fi controller that can run on any mobile device to control them. This avoided the need for any wires in the garden, made track cleaning unnecessary and meant we didn't need a third rail. You may wonder why we have taken what might seem to be the backward step of adopting a three rail system. The main reason is an increasing interest in vintage and vintage style tin plate core scale and gauge trains. Accommodating batteries and the Wi-Fi control in these locomotives is not easy when we are reluctant to invasively modify them and we do not want to use permanently connected power cars to house battery packs. Traditional three rail track uses a central pickup rail that is the same size as the two running rails. We have installed a less conspicuous third rail by using smaller, modern, nickel silver, double O gauge rail as the third rail and 3D printing our own design of chairs to hold the rail at an appropriate height. The third rail has been installed so that it imperceptibly zigzags either side of the exact centre line of the track, thus preventing the narrow rail cutting into the pickups on the locomotives, whether they are vintage or more modern ones like this Ace Trains and in the RG5, seen here slowly crossing the bowstring arch bridge. Clearly visible here is the loop of cable that is yet to be properly hidden in places around the railway. It contains two 6mm squared cross section wires that act as bus wires, feeding power to the track which is divided into electrically separate sections every 10 feet or so. This ensures there is very little voltage drop around the railway and is part of our longer term plan. As the railway becomes more complex, we aim to have the option of operating it in a more prototypical manner, setting different routes and operating timetable trains that obey signals using a DCC control system. Having our bus wires and electrical sections already in place will make that much easier to achieve. A three rail setup avoids the need to insulate numerous wheels and simplifies the wiring of crossovers and reversing loops, avoiding short circuit problems associated with two rail track. For now, we can enjoy our three rail locomotives without modifying them whilst we develop a more complex and longer railway.